In this section, we are going to talk about convolutional neural network models. In this video, we are going to talk about convolutional neural network generation in Autokeras. Autokeras can generate CNNs for various tasks. Recall that a CNN is a special type of neural network that takes as input an array of pixels and it applies a lot of convolution, pooling and non-linearities in sequence on this array of pixels. This process will eventually result in a classification part which will place the input image into one of multiple given classes. The details are not very important since we will be using Autokeras which will take care of the internals. We've already seen the image classifier at work in the previous sections. In the previous section we made it work with a multilayer perceptron. In this section, we will see how we can make it work with our own convolutional neural network. The most important element of a CNN is the convolution operation. A convolution applies a feature detector to an input image to obtain a feature map. Here is how it works. If we have this image and this detector, we can obtain this map in the following way. We will multiply pixel by pixel each value in this subarray with the detector. So we will do 0 times 0 is 0 plus 1 times 1 is 1 plus 1 times 1 which is 1 so the current sum is 2 in total plus 1 times 0 which is 0 so the total sum will be 2. So we write 2 to the resulting feature map. And we do the same by moving this detector one step. So we will move it across this subarray, then this, then this, then this one. And we will do the same pixel wise multiplication and summation at each step. And you might think that this feature map loses information. That is true, but the hope is that it will lose the unnecessary information and that it will keep the higher level information that is more useful to classification. The pooling operation is also important. If we are given this input and we want to perform 2 times 2 pooling, then we will obtain this result. The same basic idea applies as for convolutions, but now instead of summing and multiplying, we take the maximum. So if we pass this rectangle over this input, First it will pass over this subarray here and the maximum out of these four values will be 2. So we write 2 to the result and so on. The pooling operation is usually applied after a convolution operation. There are multiple configurations that can be done both to convolutions and pooling such as the stride length and a few others but we don't need to concern ourselves with that since Autokeras will pick the best settings for us.